All right, I'm just gonna take a quick video and go over how to turn on the sound equipment. So we set this up as a sound booth and we tried to make it as easy as possible. So when you're coming in to turn it on, come down here, turn on the spirit box down here. See that switch? Then come over here and turn on this guy, right? That'll turn on your amps. So this one gets turned on second. That one gets turned on first. But when you leave, you want to turn them off in reverse. You want to turn off the amps first and then the board to turn them off. Okay, so that's to get your sound system on. In fact, we're going to go ahead and do it real quick. Here's that guy on. That guy on. And this gives you speakers and monitors. So with the speakers and monitors, they're coming to this amp. If you notice here, you'll see that there it says master monitor and master level. Master level is for your, your main speakers. Because we're using this just as a an amplifier, this cord and this cord are for the mains. Notice that they're right here. And so you can adjust the input volume this way. This one in the center is being used for the monitors. Notice monitor is up. And so that's how we have them set up. This one here and this one go here, which are the mains, which are attached to the mains down here. Oh, excuse me, this one. Our monitor is attached. This is the, the main switch for the monitor. And notice that the green is the same as all of these down here. So the easiest way to look at this board is to look at one channel and then see that all the channels are basically the same. So this is your input volume. The best thing to do when you're setting it up is to set your volume level to zero and then to raise your input volume until it's set to what it needs to be set to. This second one here, 100 hertz, will cut anything off below 100 hertz. This is your high, this is your high medium or high mid, excuse me, uh, where you can set the frequency and then set your level. Low mid, you can set the frequency and then set the level to either raise it or lower it and then your low frequency. You can also bypass the EQ altogether. This is again, your monitor that we're using on the floor. It is pre, meaning that it comes before the fader. And because it comes before the fader, that means that this will stay on even when you cut this off. You turn off the volume, this will still have sound. So if you need to turn off sound in the room, then you're gonna do it here. If you have to set it up where the faders control your monitors, then you're going to want to move to like monitor two or auxiliary two, in which case you're going to move this cable to auxiliary two, and then you're going to start using this guy, in which case you can use this pre post switch right here. And that'll allow you to choose if you want it before or after the faders. Um, continuing on, this is your pan left and right. This one mono, if it's on, we'll send it to this guy here, which we were using for subwoofers. This one here will tell us if we want it in the mix. You can turn that on and then you can use it. It'll send it to the mix or our mains. If you wanted to put your monitors into the mono, you can do that. But if you do that, you're gonna need an adapter to connect this guy into here. So um, that may be a bit of a stretch. Uh, if that's something that's worth it, then we can bring uh, an adapter at a different time. PFL is pre-fade listening. When you turn this on, it allows the, uh, the light levels to light up and tell you what your volumes are. It really didn't seem to work well this, this week for me, uh, so I just didn't use them. But if you're having too much signal coming into this line, your peak will clip and then this red light will also be used for that as well. Um, this is a pretty simple mixer. I would avoid these altogether. There's really no value to them unless you're using effects, uh, in which case you would already know what you're doing. Um, and that's, that's this. That's your setup for sound, both for the mains and for the, the monitors.